Good morning, children. Welcome back to the social session. Children, in the last uh, session, we were trying to understand about the village panchayats, sarpanch, as well as the upa sarpanch. Apart from this, we also have tried to understand what a gram panchayat does. What are the functions of a gram panchayat? Also, we tried to see. Further, let me about, uh, elaborate the same uh, functions of the gram panchayat. How the gram panchayat conducts the meeting. How the elections are held to the gram panchayat. You already know it. Entire village will be divided into wards, and certain wards will be reserved for the women, SCs, STs, and BCs uh, population as per the population in the uh, village. So, for each meeting, at least half of the members of the panchayat should be present. Uh, that means quorum. It is called uh, half of the ward members should be present, and otherwise the meeting will be cancelled. If less than half members are present to the panchayat meeting, then the meeting will be cancelled. More than half should be present in order to conduct a panchayat meeting. The meeting usually begins by reading out the proposals uh, or the report of the last uh, meeting. That means last time when they met, what they have uh, passed resolutions that is called as minutes of the last meeting will be read. Then the sarpanch has to report uh, about all the work uh, done uh, during the previous month and how much money was spent on them. This all should be explained to all other members uh, uh, in the panchayat meeting. In case the members feel that some work was not properly done, then immediately they can discuss it. The ward members can also propose new work. Okay, if in their ward, if there is any problem, okay, road problem, drainage problem, street lighting, drinking water, if there is any kind of problem, then they can bring it to the notice of that meeting. And uh, new work for their wards or inquire about uh, non-completion of the approved work also will be brought to the notice of the meeting. Already if it is approved and if it is work is not done, drain alert ho gai, magar kaam shuru nahi kare. So YC jo pending works jo hai, that also can be discussed in the panchayat meeting. All these will be brought by whom? By the ward members. Every year before the month of April only, uh, proposals from different wards are uh, uh, discussed and a budget will be prepared for them. The Sarpanch and the Executive Officer check uh, if funds are available for these proposals. Whatever proposals were brought by the ward members, whether money is there, funds are there, will be checked by the Sarpanch as well as the Executive Officer. The Executive Officer will be appointed by the uh, Panchayat Raj uh, Department. So that Executive Officer also will check whether there is a sufficient funds for the proposals made. After this, the annual plan of the panchayat. That means, in the coming one year, kis kis ke upar paise karch karna chahiye. Bolke, they prepare a plan and uh, it will be discussed in the Grama Sabha. They conduct Grama Sabha. Already you know what is a Grama Sabha. All the people who are above 18 years of age will be present in this, uh, will be the members of the Grama Sabha. And uh, they finalize it after incorporating their suggestions also will be taken. Okay. If you have proposed anything wrong, that may be said by the people again. So, this finalized plan is submitted to the uh, Mandal and Jilla Parishads for the approval. And, and, and they sanction the funds relating to those uh, proposals. After the funds are received, when the funds are received, uh, the Sarpanch starts the work and uh, supervises its completion. This is a duty of the Sarpanch to get the funds okay, and the work to be started and it has to be supervised by the Sarpanch. And that report will be again submitted in the next meeting, in the next Panchayat meeting. Okay, that report will be submitted. And it is often seen that in the many panchayats, the sarpanches uh, prepares the plans on their own and get them approved uh, without much discussion only. Because sarpanch plays very important role. Okay, for that reason, he gets the plans done uh, on his own without taking the uh, norms of uh, or the suggestions from the ward members. He prepares the plan, and all other members also will approve it. Uh, then the funds will be allocated for the work. Uh, may be misappropriated, okay, the funds uh, uh, misappropriation also may take, okay, jidhar ek lakh ka karch hona chahiye, do lakh bol ke proposals base the, aur uh, baaki extra jo ek lakh hai, uske jay mein chile jati hai. So, this kind of misappropriated funds will be there, uh, because very few people in the village know uh, about the plan, budget and actual work done. So, this all things, this all things uh, depends upon the information. For this reason, it is necessary for all the members to participate in the Gram Panchayat or Grama Sabha meeting and uh, in planning and overseeing uh, the implementation of the program. If the program is not participated by you, then you cannot come to know what is the budget, what is the plan approved and how much expenditure they are going to spend on it. 
and if you look at from where these uh, gram panchayats will get funds as i told you the proposals will be sent to the mandal parishad and jilla parishad they will allocate the money or the funds uh, where do the gram panchayat gets the funds is a big thing because the taxes which they collect from the village is very meager very less so for that reason uh, they don't get much funds from the uh, self that mean from the imposing of the taxes in the village they get very little income gram panchayat has a power to levy the tax uh, but it is uh, not sufficient they get about uh, one third of their income from the uh, sources like uh, house tax and water tax and land assess they get very little income however the much of the bulk of their resources uh, they depend upon the grants from the uh, state and central government which is meant for the development and implementation of uh, specific programs for example some funds are made available under the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act okay uske wajah se jo funds aati hai har village ko that fund will be used and from the experience of the gram panchayats uh, it um, emerges that these funds are far from sufficient uh, for any substantial development of the village for that reason the state government also allocate some money some funds for the development of the villages panchayats have very little funds uh, uh, for the work they themselves plan and they execute them they decide upon so they get the funds from the central and state governments uh, on specific plans and coming to the mandal parishad and jilla parishad so these plans have to be submitted to the mandal parishad and mandal will submit it to the jilla parishad this is a hierarchy children niche jo hai wo village panchayat hai okay ek 10 20 uh, villages ko mila ke ek mandal hoti hai aur a mandals sab milke ek jilla parishad hoti hai so this is a hierarchy uh, can you able to understand what i am saying children okay so this is a village panchayat at the ground level a village panchayat kya hoti एक 20 विलेजेस को मिला के उसको मंडल परिषद एक मंडल बनती ओके मंडल परिषद बोलते हैं उसको और पूरा मंडल इन ए डिस्ट्रिक्ट विल फॉर्म इन टू ए जिला परिषद सो दिस इज हाउ दीज मंडल परिषद एंड जिला परिषद टेरिटोरियल कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी एमपीटीसी एंड जेडपीटीसी विल बी देर so these mptcs and jptcs uh, uh, will elect directly the villagers uh, and some of them are nominated even and uh, these uh, jilla parishad uh, territorial constituency members mptc or jptc uh, will represent their mandals and coordinate the activities of the uh, panchayat with the mandal and with the jilla parishad in the district and the mandal the plans which got approved will be coordinated for the allocation of the funds about uh, an example of a jangamma in hazipali village about a sarpanch we'll see in the next class children thank you